Tonight is finally the night, huh? I get to roam around the earth to my heart's content until the next sunrise. Oh, that means I get to interact with others. I haven't done that in a while. I'm sure everyone is nice out there anyway. Aw, that little cat is wearing a pumpkin costume. How adorable. You start banging on the door. Huh? What, what's that sound? Someone's trying to break in. What? <laughs> Why would they even do that? I left the door on open. Silly person. <sighs> I'll go downstairs and check it out. I go downstairs to check it out. Hmm. This human looks rather different from the others. Hmm. They look rather shy. Or at least they aren't excited to be here. Let me just walk up to you. I know you can't see me right now because I'm choosing to not present myself. Hmm. Oh, I see. I feel like this was a dare. You probably lost a bet, and your punishment was to visit a haunted house. <sighs> Usual Halloween activities. Oh, there, there. It's gonna be okay. There's nothing scary here. I don't think I count as a scary being. Especially since I'm not letting you see me. Aw, look at you roam around so scared, walking so slow. <laughs> you even brought a bat with you. What are you gonna whack? The broken floorboards? The ripped up carpet? The random rats scurrying around? <sighs> Although I do want to interact with you, which means I need to present myself to you. That sounds kind of weird. Um, but how can I do it in a not so scary way? Oh, I'll just hide behind this couch and I'll try to appear in front of them. Okay. I appear in front of you. Huh, hey. Um, do you like my house? What kind of conversation start? Oh, <laughs> no. Well, I'm not joking. I do actually live here. Oh, come on. Don't be so scared. I'm not going to hurt you. I just wanted to say hi. And hoped to... Be friends with you? What do you mean? You think I... Who is Wednesday Adams and why did you say I'm dressed as her? For your information, this is my usual attire. Whatever, I guess you just don't have fashion sense. I'll kick you with these demonias until you fall downstairs, break your neck, and maybe you get to live here too. Forever. Yeah, yeah, laugh all you want. Strange things like that do happen here. So many lost souls just stuck in this 
place. Oh, you're intrigued? Well, I can tell you something about the ghosts around here. You're not scared of ghosts? Well, how would you feel if I told you that I am one? No, it's not some prank. I really am. I was following you around for a bit, and then I decided to appear in front of you. You think we look like those white sheets with empty black eyes? <sighs> Such a silly little imagination. Let me explain it to you. If someone dies in this house, their ghost, their soul, stays here. You cannot leave the house. If you try to, you just get brought back here. I know, sounds rather sad, doesn't it? And every single day, all of us just sit, sleep, well, I guess barely sleep, we just lay down and close our eyes, and we just think about the life that was taken away from us, until the special day of Halloween. Halloween is our favorite day. You want to know why? Because that's the day we get to leave. Yep, we get to leave the house for one day, just on Halloween. And then we have to return here and suffer for a long time, until the next Halloween. As tragic as it sounds, I do kind of prefer the ghost life. Because if I was alive, I don't really know what I'd be doing out there. I don't really have any talents or any family to um, be with. Oh, come on, you still don't believe me? After I told you all of that? <sighs> Not so easy to please, are you? All right, here, give me your hand. No, no, just trust me. Hold your palm up. You see this? My hand is going through yours. And that's not a thing that humans can do, can they? So yeah, best believe I'm a ghost. Did that change your view on paranormal things now? Because if ghosts exist, then who knows what else? But that's for other people to know. And right now, I want to get to know you better. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to talk. Make a new friend. Listen, the reason why I don't do this with anyone else is because the first few times I tried appearing in front of people, they, um, ran away. A lot of them said I looked like the girl from The Ring, and not gonna lie, I'm kind of offended.
But it's whatever. Probably not worth my friendship anyway. But you, on the other hand, you've stayed here the entire time. I'm kind of surprised. You're not like anyone else. I'm really grateful that I didn't scare you away. Did you want to explore the house? I can give you a very personal tour. And by that, I mean give you very detailed things on what happened. <laughs> what do you think I meant? Okay, so right now we're in the living room. Haha, <laughs> how funny. Uh, Jasper currently resides here. I did see him leave through the back. I think he's probably visiting his old high school or something. But he was a really bright person. It was unfortunate, really. I saw his ex-girlfriend kill him. The thing was, she was really, really possessive. He was trying to buy her an engagement ring, but obviously you would have to be secretive about it, right? And the person he was trying to buy the engagement ring from was a woman. <laughs> Do you understand where this is going now? Because of how suspicious Jasper was hiding the messages and such from her, the girlfriend decided to pull a weird plan. So she tried spiking his drink. It didn't work. I don't know why, but Jasper's just strong like that. She then tried to, like, strangle him with a scarf. Guess what? It didn't work. Jasper is built like a god, and his neck is basically as thick. I don't know what to compare it to, but it was tough, okay? <laughs> But she ended up shoving his phone down his throat, and while she was rummaging his bag, guess what she found? Yep, it was the engagement ring. She was so, so, so upset with herself. But she was also really selfish, and I don't think she even loved him. Because the next day, well, obviously she cleaned up the mess and stuff. But the next day, she brought over another guy and proposed to him. That is wild. Um, <laughs> she stole her ex-boyfriend's ring, that's who she killed and then proposed. Like, it was weird. Um, they ended up moving to, I don't know. A different country, changed their entire identity, whatever. Every night I have to comfort Jasper. It's okay, Jasper. You're the perfect guy. She didn't deserve you. No one really did. Okay, on to the next room. Uh, this is the kitchen. Oh, hey, are you okay? You kind of slipped over there. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to grip your arm too hard like that. You know, with our height difference. You're so cute. Yeah, I know, with these shoes, I'm basically taller than everyone else. But look at you, you have to look up at me. Aww. You're so tiny, you're so adorable. Uh, but yeah, this is the kitchen. Uh, Grandma Miller, she also resides here. 
she went to visit her great 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 grand kids. Um, they live right across the street. She was, um, a very interesting grandma. <laughs> Essentially, she was very afraid of her kids leaving her. And by that, I mean she divorced her husband, but she had two kids with him, right? And she didn't want to be the boring mother, because the father got custody of the kids. Are you following along? Okay, good. The father got custody, um, and she didn't want to be a boring old mother, and she wanted to be the cool parent, you know? So every time they visited, she would let them eat whatever they want. All the candy, do any activity, whatever. Well, as long as it's safe. But she tried really hard to please them because she doesn't want to lose them. I know, it's rather sad. <laughs> yeah. She was really sweet. She did end up losing them, though. All the candy, all the activities that they did. The father found out and said it was too unsafe, too bad for the health, and they decided to move away. And so, Grandma Miller spent most of her time sitting at the dinner table, eating all the candy she bought for her kids. She did end up dying, um, you know, from all the sugar and affected her blood kind of thing. But it was really sad. She just sat there, staring at the table, Eating all the candy, all the cakes, drinking all the soda, nothing else, because it made her happy. If candy made kids happy, then how could it not make her happy? Every now and then, I would kind of pretend to be a kid so she could be the cool parent she always wanted to be. Hmm? Oh, don't look so sad. It's okay. As tragic as it is, a lot of us just accepted how things are. But we all have a story, and unfortunately, theirs just aren't told to others, except right now, me telling their stories to you. <laughs> Come on, let's head upstairs. I want to show you my room. So, what do you think? I know the bed is, um, Broken. You can see the springs, like, popping out. Yeah, it's really dusty around here, huh? Why no one else will move in? Well, it looks like people are too scared. Well, obviously, too many people have passed away in this house. And therefore, they consider it haunted, and they just don't plan on renovating it, or anything. But I guess that's fine, because we're all so used to this rundown place. It feels like home already. Oh, sorry, am I boring you? Come on, sit down. Just don't sit 
on that side. There's like weird stains on there. It's okay. You can lay down on my lap. I don't mind. You want to know how I died? Are you sure you want to know? <sighs> Alright. Well, there was a break-in. I was home alone. My parents, they were never in the picture. As soon as I was born, they both ditched and started another family elsewhere. Because they didn't want a girl. But someone decided to take me in. And it was one of the lovely nurses at the hospital. She bought this place. We both lived here. Crap. I lost track. Um, oh yeah. There was a break-in. The nurse, she left me here to find her boyfriend. He was a missing persons and she was really concerned for him. I decided to guard the house and obviously that was unsuccessful. A bunch of bandits broke in, stole a lot of things, tore the place apart, and luckily I keep a weapon in my closet. Guess what it was? <laughs> no, not a gun. It was a pocket knife. One guy tried to enter my room, and bam! Bleeding body all over the floor, the others started running. Yeah. I guess I really am a murderer. But I was trying to protect the place. My caretaker returned, and she couldn't see me the same way. She didn't believe in violence. She screamed at me, telling me I should have hid. I should have locked all the doors. But she wasn't there to understand the fear that I was going through. Plus, it didn't feel so bad to just... do that, you know? There are bad people. Bad people should be punished, should they not? Oh, you stood up really fast. What's wrong? Do you need to use the bathroom? Oh, you're scared of me now? Calm down. I'm not going to hurt you. Or anything. You asked what happened. And I told you. Oh, right. I didn't tell you how I died. Well, I... Starved to death. When my caretaker left, I couldn't leave the house. I was too scared. She was the one that usually brought home the groceries. I also couldn't live with myself after doing such things. And I just... did nothing. <laughs> I know. It's rather tragic. It's okay, though. 
I'm okay. As long as... As long as Vivian, my caretaker, is out there living her best life, then that's all that matters to me. Well, by now, I'm sure she's like in her 80s or something, but I do hope she's alive. Oh, come on, don't be scared. No, 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 don't run out. I close the door with my magic ghost powers. Where do you think you're going? We aren't done talking. Oh, come on. I've told you several times already, I'm not going to hurt you. How about you get back here? I use my magic powers again, because I'm too lazy to add dialogue. But I push you onto the bed, and now I'm on top of you. How about you stay right here? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do this to you. I don't really have much of a choice. You simply weren't listening. I was just being nice. I welcomed you into my home. I told you stories. I was honest about all of them. And yet, you wanted to run away. Oh, so silly. And right now, you're powerless. With me pinning you down. How does it feel? To have no ability to get up and run. You're so scared of someone like me, huh? It was self-defense. I thought you would understand that. But now you probably see me as a monster, don't you? As much as I wanted to leave the house, since it's my only chance out of the entire year, I think I found my new form of entertainment here. And guess what it is? Yeah, it's you. <laughs> Come on, I'm just joking. I'm not going to keep you here forever. You have so many people out there who care about you. There's no way I can take you away from them. But I do wish for you to visit me sometime. It's nice having a person to talk to, don't you think? Yeah. Well, I suppose I'll let you go. Have a good rest of your Halloween, okay? I'll be here waiting for you to return. <laughs>